Three people dead, dozens more injured after an Amtrak train derails in Missouri. This is a nightmare and it shouldn't have happened. Tonight, the stories of survival. First, late breaking developments in a horrific crash that killed three people in Florissant. We now know no one in the car was old enough to drive. Thank you for joining us at 10 tonight. I'm Brent Solomon. Mike and Ann have the night off. New at 10, three young boys are dead after the SUV they were riding in slammed into a tree in North County. Tonight, police say the driver who survived was too young to drive. That crash happened along New Florissant Road in Florissant overnight. Tonight, Pepper Baker just checked in with police about where the case goes from here. She's live at the scene with the very latest. Pepper. All right, Pepper, thanks. Developing now in northern Missouri, three people are dead. More than 50 others are hurt after an Amtrak train hit a dump truck and derailed. It happened at a railroad crossing in the rural town of Minden. That's about a 90 minute car drive northwest of Columbia. Amtrak says 243 passengers and 12 crew members were on board. That train was headed to Chicago from Los Angeles. When it happened, several cars were knocked to the side, leaving passengers scrambling to get out. Break the windows. The NTSB says a 14 person team will investigate. A St. Charles County Sheriff's deputy resigned after a special prosecutor charged him for shooting and killing his neighbor's dog last month. Former Deputy Ryan Kuhner is charged with animal abuse. That's a misdemeanor. Authorities say a three-year-old rescue dog named Apollo was shot in the lungs with a pellet gun. Apollo came from Spain. In less than eight hours, the polls will open in the Metro East for the Illinois primary. And one of the most heated races is the Republican primary contest between Congressman Rodney Davis and Congresswoman Mary Miller. Our political editor, Mark Maxwell, has the very latest on the fallout, especially following an incident that happened on stage, Mark. Brent. All right, Mark, great work. Polls open tomorrow at 6 a.m. They close at 7 p.m. There are no voter ID requirements in Illinois. You can register to vote at your polling place tomorrow. You will need two forms of ID to do that. For more information on what you need to know before you head to the polls, text the word primary to 314-425-425. Five three five five. Five on your side will bring you complete election coverage and analysis as soon as polls close tomorrow night. Join us on Five Plus beginning at 7 p.m. You can download it for free on your Roku or Amazon Fire TV. We'll also have full results and reaction tomorrow night at 10. Well, the impact of the Supreme Court's abortion ruling is still being felt. Now, local religious leaders are weighing in. The Archdiocese of St. Louis issued a statement this weekend saying every human being, born or unborn, has the right to be protected. During today's news conference at St. Louis City Hall, Mayor Tashara Jones announced a bill that she's supporting. It would use money from the American Rescue Plan to help women get an out-of-state abortion. Opening statements got underway today in the trial of Dewan Ferguson. He's the father accused of murdering his nine year old son, Christian Ferguson, nearly two decades ago. The boy disappeared in 2003, but it wasn't until 2019 when authorities charged the father with murder and abuse of a child resulting in death. Christian had special needs. The defense says Dewan Ferguson was trying to take his son to the hospital when someone stole his car with the child inside. Testimony will resume tomorrow. It's a concern that seems to be growing. New tonight, Robert Townsend is taking a closer look at the problem properties and what a local older woman wants to see happen. Fears over fireworks. There is no safe way to discharge consumer fireworks. They're very dangerous. The warning tonight from St. Louis first responders. Just how quickly fireworks can turn dangerous. Sticker shock on your utility bill. The household appliances that will keep you cool and keep your energy costs down. As the Developing tonight out of Texas, police say they found the bodies of at least 20 undocumented migrants. They found those bodies inside of an 18 wheeler in San Antonio. Some of the migrants in the trailer were still alive. They've been rushed to area hospitals. 
Well, Atlanta police arrest a man. They say shot two Subway restaurant workers and it was all over too much mayo on a sandwich. One of the workers was killed. The others in critical condition tonight. The gunfire happened in front of a five year old child who was not injured. Well, a little relief at the pump tonight. According to Gas Buddy, the price at the pump is down on both sides of the river for the second week in a row. In Missouri, gas is around $4.62 per gallon, down more than seven cents from a week ago. Over in Illinois, the statewide average has dropped 12 cents to $5.44 a gallon. Holiday travel demand could drive those prices back up. Well, just about everything costs more right now, including energy bills. Experts at Consumer Reports share some simple tips to cut utility costs without sacrificing the comforts of home. Here's Mike Bush. And if you decide to add a smart or programmable thermostat to your house, Consumer Reports suggests you check with your utility company to see whether it offers any incentives or even a free thermostat. Can you believe we're just a week away from the 4th of July? And this weekend, Fair St. Louis will return for the first time in two years. It runs Saturday through Monday at Keener Plaza in Ballpark Village. There will be local food vendors and lots of live music. There will not be fireworks on Saturday or Sunday, but organizers are promising a fireworks spectacular on July 4th. We have the full lineup for you at KSDK.com. And a plea tonight from St. Louis Police and Fire ahead of the holiday. They're advising you not to set off fireworks on your own. Not only are they illegal in the city, they're also dangerous. In 2020, more than 15,000 people were hurt. At least 18 died. Sparklers can reach temperatures of 1,200 degrees, nearly six times hotter than boiling water. First responders are beefing up their staffing ahead of the holiday, but hope word gets out this year to skip at home fireworks for professional displays. Time now to get a check on your forecast. Chief Meteorologist Scott Connell joining us now. Hey, Mother Nature might have some fireworks of her own. Yeah, looks like it's going to be well above average in St. Louis temperature wise. All right, Scott, we'll take it. Thanks. Well, it was five on your side night at Bush Stadium. Take a look at this. It's all part of our 75th anniversary celebration. And our very own Mike Bush, you see him there. He threw out the ceremonial first pitch before the Cardinals and the Marlins took the field. And hopefully, Frank, we brought the Redbirds some good luck. What do you say? Yes, that was the best phone call of his life. Yeah, I bet Dad made it, didn't yep, he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> all right, Frank, thanks. Well, there is no independence from inflation this 4th of July. The holiday cookout dishes costing you a lot more, but find out what items you'll actually pay less for. You will get less bang for your buck at your 4th of July cookout this year. According to the American Farm Bureau Federation, it will cost Americans 17% more than last year. Inflation has led to big price hikes in beef, chicken, and potato salad. But the price for potato chips, cheese, and strawberries have dropped. In all, $7.7 .7 billion will be spent on food on Independence Day. July 4th is America's top beer drinking holiday. According to WalletHub, Americans will spend more than $1.4 billion on beer this weekend. Another $2.4 billion will be spent on fireworks. How about that? Well, that's all of our time for five on your side at 10. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon is next. Martin Lawrence is Jimmy's guest. Start your day with Today in St. Louis beginning at 4 a.m. As always, we appreciate the company. We'll see you tomorrow.